Wash and disinfect your hands thoroughly and wear disposable gloves if necessary. Fill the rinsing reservoir with water. Make sure that the suction device is functional before use. Connect the suction tube, fingertip and suction catheter correctly. Communicate with the patient and explain the procedure of endotracheal suctioning. Place the patient's upper body into a slightly elevated position or ensure that the patient is seated in a comfortable and safe position. First remove the speaking valve or the moist nose from the tracheostomy tube. Remove the inner cannula if necessary. For suction of secretion, the catheter is carefully inserted into the tracheostomy tube through the stoma. Avoid unnecessary contact with the catheter when doing so. Advance the catheter by no more than 0.5 to 1 cm above the edge of the cannula tip. Suction is applied by closing the fingertip with the thumb. Make sure that the individual suction process does not last longer than 10 to 15 seconds. Finally, rinse and clean the suction tube and possibly the fingertip. Ask the patient about his or her present breathing situation and how he or she is feeling. After endotracheal suctioning, all used disposable products must be disposed of.